today is gonna be short and sweet. You know why? Because that is the essence of the cookie. That is a tip that a little place called Au Tiroir Cookie could really use. Maybe I'm a little impatient. Maybe my inner clock is ticking a little quicker than everybody else's this morning. It is Friday after all. I mean, it's practically the weekend. Maybe I'm a busy person. Maybe I got a lot of stuff to do. Maybe I've already had a hectic morning. I just have a hankering for a cookie and I don't have time to stand in line for 15 minutes waiting for some lady to choose a cookie among a selection of four cookies for her afternoon snack. And for a man to put them in a box as if they're made of freaking diamonds. Today I went to Au Tiroir à Cookie. And they don't even open until 1 p.m. I mean, you're already pushing it with me, okay? I'm an early bird. That's when I like to finish filming, okay? Do they not understand that Vlogmas is happening right now and that some of us have an agenda to adhere to? One o'clock p.m. What time do you get out of bed? Are you cooking these all morning long? Are these yesterday's batch or are these fresh baked cookies? I get there at like 12.55. They don't open until one. Got a little bit of time to kill. There is a crowd of people waiting to clamor into this place. I, I've never seen anybody wait in line for cookies, of all things. So I was kind of surprised. I thought, oh my goodness, they must have some really good cookies. And if anybody loves cookies, <laughs> it's me, okay? I am a cookie fiend. I, ha I used to have a cookie problem. So I have a little bit of time to kill and I realized, oh, just next door is a little tea shop slash tea salon called Unami, which was just suggested to me in my YouTube comments yesterday by Sig, somebody who uh, is originally from Lille. So I decided to kill some time by going in there and I got some tea. Where is it? I don't know how to pronounce it. Duo Cha Crew. I, I, look, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's Puar Tea and it's, uh, it's it, looks, it looked good. Oh, that's good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that's good tea. Oh, it's delicate on the palate. For a Puar, that's pretty delicate. Looking forward to the second brew. Okay, so back to the cookies. I get out of the tea shop. I'm very grateful for the suggestion. I would not have gone in there if I had not seen it and was like, oh, that is the place that somebody just told me about yesterday. So I get back out. I get in line for the cookie place. The guy finally opens the door at like 1.04, okay? Come on. You were already open and really late in the day. Could you maybe be a little more timely about things? Then we get in there. There are like two or three people in line in front of me and I stand there for 13 minutes. They have a selection of like four, maybe five cookies to choose from right now. And these people take 13 minutes to pick out the cookies. Not only that, but the guy behind the counter is super nice. And he's giving this entire, he just gives an entire monologue when we all enter. And he's telling us about all the ingredients and every single cookie and what it takes to make each cookie and blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, it's just a cookie. Cookies, they're cookies made with chocolate bar. They have chocolate bar chunks in them. There's not really that much going on here. It's just flour and sugar and butter. And you put bits of like, Kinder Bueno in there. It's not complicated. And you know why it's not complicated? Cause it's a cookie. I feel very passionately about cookies, okay? Cookies should be simple. Cookies are just, your mom makes cookies and before they even have time to cool down, you just, nom, 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 nom. have you ever seen Cookie Monster? Cookie Monster gets it. Cookie Monster understands the assignment, okay? So I'm standing there in line and I'm waiting and I'm waiting for this girl to make her choice. Do you want chocolate chip or do you want white chocolate chip? Or do you want macadamia nut? Or do you want the one with cashews? Or do you want the one with pistachios on it? Which one do you want? That's all you have to choose from. It's not that complicated. Are you allergic to nuts? Don't get that one. I'm vibrating in the back of the line. Full on energy like that guy from the little place where I went in Mont, And I'm like, C is for cookie. C is for could you hurry up? C is for crying out loud. That's why I have the tea. It's a nice reminder to come back down to earth. You know how long it took me to order? Two seconds. And then the guy, he gets the, the box and he takes the cookies and he puts them in the box and then he very delicate like this. With my credit card. That will be blah, blah, blah. I don't know how much it was. I couldn't hear anything at this point except for the ringing of blood pressure in my ears. They're cookies. For God's sake, man. They're not crystal magic cakes. They're cookies. Stick them in a bag. Hand them to me. I don't care if they crumble a little bit. That's what they're meant to do. That's why we have the expression, that's how the cookie crumbles. The point is, it just took way too long to get cookies on my lunch break. They're cookies. You're really missing the whole point. 
That's all I have to say. So these had better be incredible cookies. Here's the thing, they all look like they're gonna make me sick. They're more chocolate than they are a cookie. I'm not mad. It was a nice experience. It would have been better if I was not in a really big hurry. Gentleman behind the counter was exactly that. A perfect gentleman willing to answer any questions that anybody asked at length. I just feel like cookies should be more simple and that this place is complicating the art of the cookie a little bit. But the most important thing is tasting these gosh darn cookies, so let's do it. I got two types. I got chocolate chip. Dare we call these chips? Dare you call these chips, sir? These are not chips, these are chocolate chunks. And um, something that has like a dollop of chocolate on it and the it just it's like jam packed with what looks like pistachio. They didn't have any descriptions of the ingredients on them and when I walked in, I kind of missed his entire monologue about the ingredients of every single individual cookie. But you know, I'm not blind and those look like pistachios to me. So let's try the chocolate chip, you know, let's go traditional here. Give her a taste of Rooney. That is a very dense cookie and it is exactly that. It is a cookie. That's a cookie. Sure is. It's super dense. That's a whole lot of cookie, especially with all that chocolate. That's an insane amount of cookie. But the texture is fabulous. They're very soft and moist on the inside. If you like a soft cookie, this is right up your alley. That's incredible. Just fantastically soft. The outside is not crispy at all. Boy, eating an entire cookie. Whew. That'll, that's really, you're really packing it away. Let's try the other one. I'm, I'm assuming pistachio. It's no longer a cookie at this point. I'm not a fan of that. Oh, no, 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 no. I like pistachio, but this is, it's just a lot of, like, and the pistachios aren't sweet. So it just tastes like pistachio chunks. I just don't find that very interesting at all. I would not call that a cookie. That's not a cookie. That one's a lot more dry. The chocolate chip cookie is an absolute winner if you want a double super chocolate overload. You love a soft, dense cookie that doesn't crumble. The pistachio one is not very sweet and it's very dry. And it's a whole lot more pistachio than it is cookie. I'm just not so sure that that actually qualifies as a cookie. It's overcomplicated. They've overcomplicated the cookie. Even the chocolate chip, even the good old traditional chocolate chip is just a little bit too complicated for my tastes. And I told you, I'm a cookie connoisseur, okay? I love cookies, just not Oreos. Atmosphere. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and give them a super yummy on this one. I know that I complained, but it's mostly because I was in a really big hurry, feeling super impatient. The interior has a really fun, quirky, and playful vibe. There's a lot of like colorful artwork, and it's very eclectic looking. On the white wall even, they have like, someone came in and did some art with a Sharpie or something. It's just very fun, it's very playful. I really liked the interior. It's warmly lit, and it just feels like a nice place to hang out. And the guy behind the counter, super nice, excellent service really kind and very helpful. Everybody in the establishment seemed very happy. They were happy they were getting cookies. They were happy about their interaction with him. Everybody was leaving with a smile. For the selection, I'm going with maybe yucky, maybe yummy. I really can't say. I don't know if it's just the day that I went, the time that I went, but they only had like four or five cookies to choose from. There were a lot of empty slots where cookies should be but weren't. And maybe today they were just backed up, or maybe they have a different selection throughout the day. Maybe they have a different selection by the day. I have no idea how it all works, but they only had four or five to choose from. And honestly, I didn't find any of them appealing. They all just seemed really overdone. To me, it's very American style. It's like they take cookies and they just like shove chocolate bars into them. They're just very over the top. And I thought every single one of these is going to make me sick but I went with the basic chocolate chip. You, you can't get more basic than that. If you're gonna judge somebody based on their cookies, your chocolate chip cookies, your standard cookies. So I decided to go with that one, and then I decided to take the pistachio one because it was the only one that they had that was labeled as gourmet, and I thought, all right, I'll, I'll try one of their quote unquote gourmet cookies, whatever that means. And to me, that's not a gourmet cookie. It's not appealing to me at all. So maybe yucky, maybe yummy. Maybe on other days they have more selection or they have a rotating, selection of cookies, but today was not my day. Tastiness, maybe yucky, maybe yummy. 
This is like a, the chocolate chip cookie is okay. If you have a very big appetite for a cookie and you're looking to put away like 500 calories worth of cookie. For me, a cookie is like a quick little snack. It's not like eating a huge piece of cake. It's, it's just, it's just so massive. It's so dense and it's so packed full of chocolate that it is evading the essence of the cookie to me. And so I'm not a huge fan of it. The pistachio nut one, it's really just pistachio nuts glued together in a mound. It's not really a cookie by my standards. I'm gonna go with maybe yucky, maybe yummy. So that leaves us with that. Super yummy, maybe yucky, maybe yummy, maybe yucky, maybe yummy. Just those couple bites of cookie, that was enough sugar for me for the day. That is just a lot. That is a lot to handle. Thank you for joining me on this wonderful day. We're gonna keep it short like a cookie. I'll see you tomorrow, bye.